Welcome back, Forex fans. It's Rob from Explorer here again with Star Drive 1 and the Black Box and Combined Arms mods. And I have played ahead just a little bit to kind of re-familiarize myself with the game just to not seem like a complete moron. Although I still am. That hasn't changed too much. But I did sort of, you know, uh, re-familiarize myself with the game as much as I could. And I built a little highway here, a little space road, and I'm probably going to do another one here to there soon but not right now the problem we have or at least I have is that okay my economic strength is pretty decent but beyond that my scientific strength is not my military strength is pretty poor too and my population is pretty low as well so I'd like to figure out a way to boost my research and I, I know that we have this the education infrastructure and what it would do is basically uh, yeah, it, it, it allows us to research more, right? But I don't see anything else that would allow me to increase my research except the, the Imperial University. So I guess it's something where I need to just start expanding a bit more because I, I can't really, I don't see anything. I did find subspace uh, projectors, by the way. It's right here, nice, nice and easy to find. But I don't see anything else that would allow me to upgrade my research capabilities. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I figured it out. All right, so we're actually going to focus on that first. So, all right, that's going to be a 10% boost. And then Xeno Intelligence. So let's do this. Spy Offense and Spy Defense are also improved. We're going to do that as well. And then Xeno Computing, does that also? Yeah, okay, here we go. I figured it out. There's my research bonus tree. And this whole time I was like, where is it? Where is it? And uh, as soon as I start recording, I find it. So we just unlocked the geo survey. So we're going to be able to contribute some more to our production. And we really don't have much in the way of, of anything else going on. I did go ahead and research Corvettes. And so my fleets are now, especially first fleet, now has a couple corvettes in it called the thicket rocket and the thicket basic and the rockets have well they have rockets and I think the wait let's check can I see what these are yeah these are the thickets we're gonna build some rockets as well in this group so we'll we'll take that we'll build a few here as well and maybe just offset all of this and we'll come back out this way as well yeah let's zoom out and see where that nope okay that needs to come out a little bit OCD that's fine right all right so we'll requisition that we gotta keep our slight military advantage over like one person or two people whatever it is <laughs> it is right now two people yeah cool all right so I'm playing at three speed I'm gonna drop it down at two speed my nice little highway here keeping my freighters going very well and I did take this planet up here because it's got a good industrial it's a foundation but the problem is there's nowhere to build and I don't see any of the I know that there is the ability to terraform but I don't see where that is as well I just wish there was something I could do with this planet other than what I have so let's take a look actually let's see if we can find it because uh, clearly once I start recording that's where I can find the the technologies I'm looking for so we'll go through each of them individually there's just so many now with the combined arms mod so uh, I don't see soil enrichment here there's a good one well that that's probably what I'm looking for soil enrichment Attempt to improve agricultural output. This plant soil is enriched to support plant growth, increasing fertility. Eh, not really what I'm looking for. Weather manipulation, probably not. I'm looking for more tiles. I'm looking. There we go. Terraforming planet. Yeah, that's probably not what I need either. So here, let's go. High density housing. And that does not look like I'm looking. What I'm looking for. Biospheres. No, maybe someone can help me out because I don't see anywhere where I can like increase my habitable tiles anywhere. And that's pretty important with this one. So 
All right, what do we have here? Yeah, I don't think that's even remotely something I give a crap about. Oh, I mean, I hit E a lot because I want to. It's the same thing as Stellaris, right? Like I, <laughs> I want to come out of that and hit E, and that's, that's what you would do with Stellaris. All right, so looks like we have some espionage. Mofo is doing their thing. Ooh, what are we doing here? What are you guys here for? I don't like it. Oh, thanks. Cool. My agent was delicious. Yum, yum. Yeah, I wouldn't be coming in through here because this is where Fleet One is. But it does look like they're going off to possibly invade the Cordrazine, which I'm totally good with. Have at it. Do your thing, man. I wonder if it's not a good idea to build a space road from here to here, because they always get caught right here in the planetary field right here, the gravitational field. And I wonder if they would take it from here. And then maybe go, I mean, like, I, I feel like, hopefully the AI, like the pathing is good enough that it would take that to that and then this to this, because it would be faster, right? Instead of just making a straight shot. So let's figure out what happened here. So I did try to, oh yeah, they have a 12 defense. And it looks like I'm trying to steal tech here, which probably won't work out for me. Let's go ahead and take one more. And it looks like detected while attempting to steal technology, but managed to escape unharmed. All right, well, I didn't steal the technology that I was hoping for. Because I believe these guys are the top. That's why I keep sending them here. I'm going to go ahead and train my agents here. Make them a little, a little bit more capable. And then we'll see about maybe colonizing another planet at this point. So let's look at fertility. Fertility still being the Idahoc one is a very good one. We've got most of the good ones right now. What about richness? So I took the one that had the highest richness that I could. That was this one here. And it looks like there's... Oh, no, that's... Okay. That wasn't this one. It was this one here. Itan. And then Rathus here is 1.4. I want to see how, how many habitable spots there are, though. Oh, well, doesn't look like I can do that. We can come over here instead. No, we can't do that either. Maybe we can come over here. Yeah, that's what we do. But it doesn't show me how much. Okay, so where is that in relation? Oh, that's way up there past the quadrants. The quadrazines. I'm going to try this. I'm going to build the space road here and see if the pathing will let me do that. So we push B. We're going to make this happen here, okay? And hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, then at least I tried. And I don't think it's significantly expensive. Although I do believe it is. It, it, I know it's there's a cost, clearly. Oh, dang it. So they take a different path ever so slightly than what I've done here. I should have watched them before I did it. That would have made sense. All right, so yeah, it looks like I've I've screwed it up a little bit here. Comes into play again back here, but it looks like they do more of like an angled shot, like right through here. So let's just go ahead and make this happen. Cost be damned. Hopefully that's good enough. You know, we'll just do it like that. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Fine. We will just do what we want. Do what we need. All right. So we've completed training through all these guys here. And all right. So our space roads now. Oh, hello. Hello. Polyps are both ugly and weak. Conquering you will be easy to get around when we get around to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a second fleet, actually. That's something I've been meaning to do anyways. So, we can just make it a bunch of thickets. 
we're going to build one here build one here and here and then we're going to come out to these flanks here and build them out this way as well I didn't mean to do it that way I'm sorry there's gonna be at least somebody else out there that's affected by that it affects me too all right so we'll build some rockets as well so they can come on the outsides here and we'll just build four through here and since the rockets need to be a little bit up close we're gonna push them forward a little bit as well and we'll litter some fighters in there so oh didn't mean to do that let's go ahead and we'll just add you somewhere <laughs> uh, we'll put you right here and we'll do some thorn mark twos we'll scatter them throughout here and maybe some on the outskirts here and then one in front one in front I don't know if this is a good layout or not I just like the way it looks so we're gonna go ahead and build them all do it and hopefully the Volfar will think twice about kicking our ass probably not oh cool so they don't they're not going to do what I was hoping they would do which was to come up here first and then come through there because it looks like they just went straight for it straight from Palmar to Etan which is creating some issues here because of course like I said the gravitational field here is causing issues but it's alright so yep that's what they're doing coming through like this area right here I wonder if building just a subspace projector right here would help but I don't think so because as soon as they get through yeah I hate this planet there's nobody here though Maybe we should just go ahead and, you know what, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do to bring our fleet here. And if there is anybody here, we'll destroy them and take this, whatever this is. Hopefully it'll be an artifact. Let's see what it is. Let's see what they've got here. Oh, they do have a little force here. Oh, that's actually the Volfar. So, yeah, why not? Let's just take them out. You want to attack them? Go ahead. Boom. Get out of here. Yep. Yeah, might be too late. Might be too late for you. It is too late for you. All right. So then in that case, I wish there was an easy like drop down menu for your planets. Like if I mean, we're going to be able to do empire here and come here, but I wish there was something on the side, sort of like Stellaris does. I am far too used to Stellaris, and I don't even think Stellaris is that good of a game, so we're going to go ahead and launch a single troop, and we're going to come back over here, and we'll grab that single troop from, oh, which one is it? It's here. That's the one, the Scrodriders, and then we're going to come up here to this particular little anomaly, see what it's all about. I wish I could just blow up this planet so that I don't, <laughs> I don't have to worry about gravitational fields. All right, Xeno computing. So we've increased our, let's see what it's like now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and look at diplomacy. And yep, scientific strength has actually just gone up ever so slightly. And our military strength is actually the number, the last number. Wow, I did not expect that. We need to do something about our population. So that's probably something we could look at right now. So how many people we have? 17, 1, 3, and <laughs> 0.1. All right, so let's look at some places that have some decent fertility. I know Argrim does, and I know that we're having... I, I tried a couple times to get through there and actually fight the, the remnant forces there, but man, it ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. I'll tell you what. But I believe... Let's come back over here. I believe it's actually decent fertile planets. Argrim here, it's 0.5. It's not great. Max population of 0.4. That's not great either. Let's see what we can do for higher max populations. 
Ruthus. Oh, that doesn't seem to be filtering the correct way because there's some here. Oh, no. Yeah, see, like here is not higher than that. So let's just do fertility. And we will look to see. Reels 1 is something we could look at, but it's max population is low as well. Wait, the remnants have a planet? When did they start doing that? Ooh, and they have an artifact of sorts. An ancient pillar appears to be highly valuable. Our scientists are eager to find out what they do. They suggest you send some troops to investigate. Yeah, I'd love to do that, but I don't... I didn't know that the remnants actually started colonizing. But yeah, let's go ahead and try to do Argrim. You know what? We'll do it. We're going to send one here again. So we'll take... Wait, is our... Uh, let's see. Are we there yet? Let's do this. Go ahead and do what you got to do, man. Quickly, quickly. Oh, cool. Your troops enter the underhive and start to look around. They notice a large underground factory. Machines buzzing and whirring. Weapons and ammunition being manufactured to supply Corsair ships and bases. As you venture deeper into the underground factory, you meet the head of the factory. As it turns out, he employs pit slaves as laborers. Half flesh, half machine. Created from slaves, prisoners, and Opterus tech. They provide you the best workforce, he explains, and he will... If you let him do his work, he'll provide you with extra production and a small share of the profits. You'd agree to these terms. Yeah, I've I don't give a shit. Give me something. Give me something good. There's a lot of thought crystals on this planet too. So I feel like that would be a really good planet to go ahead and colonize. And it's got a population of 0.1. You know what? We're going to go ahead and colonize this place. It's going to be good with these factories and all those thought crystals. There's like 15 of them. <laughs> but they're going to add... 0.5 I believe yeah 0.5 research per turn for each of those so that's two right there two research and that'll bring me up to seven which is great so yep colonizing it already so then we'll leave fleet one there just to kind of keep it under ops we'll take fleet two and we're going to go ahead and just jump right here because I believe the ships are right here. So if we can just rocket into that spot and just take out these Corvettes as fast as possible, which I'm telling you, they're difficult. So it's going to be difficult for me. So let's make it happen. All right, let's slow things down and take a look at how this is all going to go down. Might be able to overwhelm them. Not likely. Oh, cool. They're getting distracted by Volfar. Oh, please. I think I got one. happen this could happen oh no it looks like I didn't get one awesome retreat crap I almost got that one too so there goes fleet two all right we're gonna go ahead and requisition again we definitely need more in the way of something I don't know what it is but it's gonna need to be something let's take a look at our possibilities for weapons so I think that's going to help us. So ballistics, maybe we're going to do mm, maybe some rail guns, maybe a flechette shotgun and get in there with uh, some fighters. I don't know if these are small enough. Yeah, maybe not. Point defense, definitely not going to be our, our, our way of going this. So maybe we do 
Well, we can either do that, or we can look at guided weapons with long-range missiles, and let's see what we have here. SAMs, we don't want those. Missile launcher, dual missile launcher. Mm. Light torpedoes, maybe? Small torpedo tubes. Fighter torpedoes. Yes, okay, let's do that. And we're going to do a bunch of torpedoes, like torpedo fighters. I believe that'll be a good little setup. That was the closest I've ever been to beating them, so that's good. And here we are. We only have four spots to work with. That sucks. We're going to go ahead and make it... Hmm. What should I do? Uh, maybe a research planet. Yeah, we'll do that. Since it's already going to have these nice little thought crystals there. And I don't have anywhere to build again anyways. I know there's a technology to make these. Okay, here we go. Without first building a biosphere here to protect your colonists. That's what it is. All right, so biosphere. I definitely saw that. I think that was in colonization. Let's come over here and look for the biosphere. Maybe it wasn't here. There it is, right here. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and queue these two up as well. I need to make better use of my planets here, so biospheres are going to be important to me. And now that that's, pro that's part of our... I wonder if it's still going to be an issue, though. I think I still will be affected by that gravitational field. Let's see what this does here. Is it going to go just north of it, which is maybe not going to be an issue? Oh, it's actually coming there. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense because I don't need food. But maybe I do subspace projectors from here. To, let's see what this does. So it looks like he's going to come through. I believe that's... He's headed there. I do wish there was pathing, right? So, like, clearly the best pathing would be to come up this way and then come up here and there. Allowing the subspace projectors to do their thing. But, you know. That's a lot to ask. Pathing's a bitch. I know. I, know, I don't even know how to program and I know pathing's a bitch, so... Huh, so maybe we go to war with the Quadrazine while they're still kind of weak. They're not really doing anything, right? Let's see how they are compared to us. They are number two militarily, so that's not good for me. I don't know anything about them, so let's go ahead and try to infiltrate them. Ooh, they have decent defense right now too, so we'll see what we can do. Let's get in there and see if we can infiltrate them. What's robbery? I don't remember this. Oh, cool. They can steal funds, steal tech, sabotage. But let's do, let's just go ahead and infiltrate. We'll do that and see what we can do to maybe find out more about them before we go to war with them. <laughs> That's always a good thing, right? Find out more about your enemy before you kill them. Or at least attempt to kill them. All right, well, we've got a military outpost. That's great. That wouldn't have been my choice for a research topic, but it's fine. So Xeno Intelligence is gonna help us with our attack and defense roles, which is great. And then we're gonna go ahead and start working towards the things that I think are gonna help us gain the upper hand here. It's been a long time since I played this game, so if you guys have played this more recently and Think you can give me some advice? I'm all ears. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Play for another five minutes or so and then call it an episode. Alright, so then we've got what are all these guys doing, man? There's so many of these things. So why is Second Fleet coming here? I don't believe I told them to, but that's fine. You can go wherever you want. 
do whatever you want. A massive hyperspace flux is inhibiting warp travel throughout the galaxy. And we have Xeno Intelligence unlocked, which is great. It's going to be just in time for us to possibly infiltrate the Quartazine. And let's start making friends. Let's go ahead and the... Yeah, you know... Let's go ahead and make friends with these guys. They're angry at me. And I understand that's because I try to steal some stuff from them. Uh, maybe an open border treaty? Uh, okay. You don't like that idea. That's fine. I totally get it. Let's discuss something. Do you have any grievances with us? Nothing good, nothing bad. This is how we see this. Okay. So, then let's come back and try... You know, we're not going to try anything. Let's go ahead and actually find somebody a little bit closer. Maybe the Volfar. So we can start a trade treaty. Maybe they'll be up for it. Let's see. So, Volfar. Alright. So, let's go ahead and think about possibly doing a trade treaty. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Oh, cool. Awesome. Alright, so... I feel like that'll just happen, right? So, I'll start seeing some of my ships headed that way. Why are we all so slow? Is it really that slow? Good God. Alright, cool. So, we've we've infiltrated Quadrant 6. So, we can take a look and see what we've got here. That is quite the, quite the fleet. But it's not nearly as many as I thought it would be. So what do they've got here? They've got shipyards. They really have a lot of shipyards. Why are you building so many shipyards? And a lot of ballistic m missile stations. So I definitely want to stay away from this planet if I come in through here. And it looks like they've got some Corvettes. A lot of fighters. A Ralia Interceptor. Why do they have Ralia Interceptors? They are not the Ralia. That's weird. Ving Ballistics, Ving Defenders, and for some reason they have some Ralias. Alright, great. So we've got the torpedo now. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do about building a fighter with some torpedoes. Alright. Very good. Let's do it. Wow, okay. That is already a mean looking ship, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and build nuclear reactor. Nope, sorry. Two small nuclear reactors. And we're going to build our ship. Or I'm sorry, our... Oh, what am I doing here? I need to do a cockpit. So it's going to probably have to be... I think you push M. To, yep, there we go. It's probably going to have to be on the side like that. And we'll do our engine. Small engine here. And our... Where is it? Our small warp engine here. And it has no... Basically no... Oh, man. What are we going to do here? So we need to... Oh, we need actually some armament. So let's go ahead and do that, the ordnance. Only 18 seconds worth of fight in it. I wonder how powerful it is though. I wonder if I can get away with doing, nope, can't do that. What about doing that? Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see if we can do a small nuclear reactor here. Yes. All right, so that would work. But it's only got 24 seconds worth of ammo time. But maybe, and it also doesn't have enough. It, it won't be able to sustain itself in FTL forever. It's a tough thing. So maybe we get rid of one of these. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of these. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Let's move it here. Let's do this. 
we'll put the ordinance here and then we will actually let's do the nuclear reactor here and we'll build another one of these here i don't like doing this in the middle but it's fine we'll do it at the side all right so now we have 37 seconds of ammo time Hmm. Huh. so let's go ahead and consider maybe a vulcan can as well 31 seconds of ammo time. I'd like to know, I really would love to know how fast this thing is. Oh, I'm sorry. How, what the strength of it is. But let's go ahead and see maybe a static barrier here to keep my ammo from blowing us up. Huh, let's try this. We're going to go ahead and save it as a Thorn Mark III. Maybe, actually, we're going to do Torpedo Thorn. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Torpedo Thorn. And we're going to try these out. So, let's go ahead and see what they do, how well they do. First of all, let's see what their, their strength is. We'll come down to Squirrel here and build a couple just to see what they are strength at. So they have a strength of 35. And I feel like a bunch of those would be pretty mean. Alright, so what do we have here? What is that? It's a transport? Okay. Let's take our fighters here. We're just going to move them into this see what happens here I don't want to draw them out too quickly all right that's not gonna draw them out great so what we can do so I think what we should do is try to two-prong attack this thing so we'll come at them with some of these ships here and then draw in number fleet two over this way Maybe even bring in Fleet 1 if there's issues. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's try it. And then we'll probably end up calling it an episode, regardless of the outcome. Alright, second fleet. Let's do this. Please, God. Oh, wow, it is a freaking Volfar base now. Huh. Look at that. They took it. I wonder what it is that they have that, that made it so they could do this. Damn them. Damn them to hell. That was the one that I wanted so badly. What is that? Is that a... Is that a Volfar ship? Or did they go ahead and sneak in there? They may have snuck in there with their... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Stop. Belay that. We're not many... We're not, let's not do that. Uh, uh, how do I cancel orders? Cancel orders! Just go ahead and stay right there. You are the second fleet. And I'm curious to know if they actually destroyed the Corvettes or if they left them alone. They didn't destroy them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, they just came in and took the planet without destroying it. Which is what I considered, actually. I wish I'd done that, because it looks like it worked out for them. Ooh, they're using lasers. And it seems to have worked out for them. Oh, yep. That was not a good idea. I probably shouldn't have come in there and started fighting them like that, but... Uh, whatever. It's war. Let's do this. I wonder what that... 
How are they c militarily? They're fourth and we're fifth. All right, so I'm okay with those. I'm definitely, I'm definitely okay with that. So if yeah, if you need to refill, let's go ahead and do that. For those of you who need to resupply, let's go ahead and make that happen as well. And another hyperspace flux, great. And yeah, we're at war. We're at war with the Volfar, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. What we can do in the meantime is actually talk to the Ralia here and maybe develop. Oh, okay. That's not cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see about getting a uh, trade treaty with them. No? Okay. That's fine. Uh, what is your issue with me? The fact that we're alive. Cool. All right. Well. I'm not going to change that. At least I don't want to change that. Uh, they have 58 total starships. They have 108 with the Corjazine. I'm glad we're not messing with them right now. The Korathi only have 56. What about you humans? 102. Mm, Alright, so... Looks like we're not... Oh, wow. The Volfar have a very large treasury. And they're trade partners with everybody. So that's not good. But we're going to do what we can. I think we can do this. I think we can win this battle. So I do want to do something about the fact that they have lasers. Lasers, okay? They have heavy lasers, PD lasers. Maybe we should look at getting a fusion reactor and considering... Well, we'll offset them. So if they're doing lasers, then maybe we should be doing some ballistics. So we're going to do that. We're going to go down that route. So we'll gain the biospheres, which is great because we're going to be able to start making more or taking more advantage of our current planets. And then, yeah, we're going to do what I can to offset their lasers, their laser beams. I have a feeling that they're, aren't they good? They're decent on the, on, on the ground, aren't they? But I wonder if I shouldn't just try to invade them all of a sudden, like right now. <laughs> Do it now before they get too, too up in arms. Um, you know what? Actually, that's a great idea. We're going to wait until the next episode. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch everything from Sporal here. And just try to take it immediately. So, where's our... Yep, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, shoot. I meant to double-click. No, I meant to double-click on these. Yes, there we go. And while there's a hyperspace flux, let's go ahead and just try to get in here. It's going to take forever, but it's fine. Yep, it's going to take forever. <laughs> So that'll be my my plan. I'm just going to try to take this planet as quickly as possible and then defend it at all costs. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Fleet 1 here too. And we might consider building a third fleet as well. Now that we have some of our cool fighters, we have our torpedo thorns. And we also, you know what we should consider too is building a corvette with those types so oh, shipyard is what i meant to do we'll do corvette is this a corvette it looks like it is and we will use the fighter torpedoes here too so yeah i think we could really do something pretty nasty with these things so that's what we'll do next time we're gonna build something pretty awesome with the corvette frame and we're gonna go to war we're gonna we're just gonna just do what we can to beat down the volfar look at all these slow slow moving ships but yeah so until next time this is rob from explominate okay so ooh, now i because this has happened right now i'm gonna go ahead and wait i'm gonna see about my invasion here 
And I've got Fleet 2 coming in, so that's good. Or Fleet 1, I should say. Fleet 1's coming in, right? Lordy, I need some help here. Because I don't want to lose my troops here. Oh, yeah? And the Palmar system, huh? And, oh, wow, okay. It's like that, huh? So hopefully we can, we're going to take that. There's no doubt. So let's come over here and see. What... Oh, Lord. That's fine. Because we've got our fleet two resupplying over here. Looks like they're going to try to, wow. It's weird that Volfar, like the various races, races have ships that are clearly from other races. All right, so they have quite a few troop transports. Wonder what they're gonna do with that. Let's come over here and see what they're doing on this. Oh, wow, okay, they've got a core fleet here. And they're gonna try to take out my freighters here. That's not good. Well. Huh. We might actually, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and send fleet one back here. Take out this fleet. Cause we've got some remnant forces here that will probably be able to take out those ships. So let's take that. And then we're gonna go ahead and have fleet two engage. Oh, the great thing is there's some, yeah, there's a missile. Oh, that's gonna work out well for me, good. All right, so we've captured Argrim from the Volfar Imperium. That's awesome. That might soften them up a little bit. Looks like they're already retreating. Very good. And then we'll come back over here and see what we can do to, uh, well, we'll see what they're doing here. Let's just see how this is going. Doesn't appear to be going super well. <laughs> uh, why are we fighting? Come on, let's kill, 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 kill. All right, so the Atan system, we've made our way up here, right? Oh, wait. No, we don't. We don't have anybody up here. Flint system. What are you guys doing? Why are you trying to hurt me everywhere I am? That's cool that we have, we have some missile platforms here, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, good. So... We've already taken one. And I don't know if we're going to be able to take out these heavy beamers here without a fleet to reinforce. So we're going to go ahead and send the second fleet up here. And we'll do what we can to, you know, kill them. Kill, 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 kill. Uh, where? Oh, no. Wow. They've even got Kolrathi forces. Why? I don't understand. Are the Kolrathi and Volfar working together? Oh, I'm not. Yep, this is not going well for me. They just took it. All right, that's not good at all. So, and then they're also landing at a tan. They're going to take that as well. Not good. All right, so they're taking two of my better production planets. Looks like they're going to be able to take this one pretty quickly and easy too. I hadn't really been defending these things. There was no militia. So that's my problem. That's my fault 100%. It looks like they're coming over here with another one. All right, so what we need to do is slowly take our ship back. <laughs> we need our ship back. I don't like the fact that they've taken my stuff. So, uh, oh great, they're landing on Argrim. So, yeah, they're doing a very good job of just 
systematically, simultaneously attacking my planets. And the problem is, my soldiers are not very good at all. So, we're going to have a problem here. We are going to have a problem. Alright, so we have lost three planets to the Volfar in the matter of five minutes. So we're going to have to come back to the next episode where I figure out how the hell I'm going to win this battle with the Volfar because they are clearly outclassing me. Their military strength is sixth now. Oh no, that's mine. And theirs is fourth. So we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to build those ships. We're really going to have to consider mm, making a lot more troops. So yeah, we're going to have to just build troops everywhere we can and start doing that. Oh, we can't build troops here. Oh, great. I can only build troops at one place. You know, yep, that's the only place I can do it. All right, so I didn't think about this too much, did I? I didn't really consider any of these possibilities. Oh, well. We'll do our best to recuperate. And if we can't, then I lost. And you guys got to see that. <laughs> and I'm playing on normal. That's really sad. But thanks for watching, guys. This is Rob from x 8 Stay tuned for the next episode in a few days where I try to win back my planets. Until next time, keep exploring.